In order to add SAP GUI transaction codes to the SAP Fiori Launchpad, whether it is standard or custom key code, we have few mandatory steps to perform. There are two parts to complete in this activity. Part 1 is in SAP Fiori Launchpad, Designer, and Part 2 is in SAP Role, Creation, and Assignment. Usually all these steps are performed by the SAP security team, but in certain projects, developers might need to complete the SAP Fiori Launchpad designer part themselves. In this short tutorial, we will learn both the parts. For easy understanding, we have broken down the steps to 10, exactly 10. Five steps in SAP Fiori Launchpad Designer and the other five steps in SAP Role Creation and Assignment. Step one, create a customizing transport and keep it handy. Step two, create a new standard catalog. Step three, create a new target mapping. Step four, create a new tile in the catalog. Step five, create a new group and assign the catalog, which in turn will assign the tile to the new group. Step six, create a new SAP security role. Step seven, add SAP Fiori tile catalog in the role menu. Step eight, add SAP Fiori tile group within the above Fiori tile catalog in the role menu. Step nine, give authorization to the role and generate it. And step 10, which is the final one, assign the new role to the users who need the Fiori tiles. We are done. Test it from the Fiori launchpad. The user will see the tile or the GUI T code on the mobile device or the browser. Let us jump into the laptop and do all the 10 steps hands-on in the SAP Fiori launchpad and SAP GUI. Time to wear your SAP security hat. In the T code SE10, get one customizing transport created. In the Fiori Launchpad Designer, click on the tool wheel beside client and set the transport number. Hit the OK button. Stay in the catalog menu and hit the plus button or the create catalog button. Give the title and name of the catalog. Give it according to the project naming standards. Next is to create the target mapping. So we need to create the target mapping before we create the tile. Give the transaction type as transaction. Give the title, transaction name which you want to give or the custom T code which we are trying to uh, create the tile for. And then we need to give the semantic objects and the actions. So let me show you that. Remember the semantic object you, you used here as we will need the same for the tile. And also give the alias name too. So hit the save button. Now hit the create tile button. We are choosing the static type. Give the title and the same semantic object and action. Check here, we are giving the same one which we gave in the target mapping. Give some keywords if you want. So when you save the tile, it will take the target URL. So do not forget to hit the save button. Now go to the group menu and hit the create group icon or the plus sign at the bottom. Give the title and ID for the group. Assign the tile to the group. Do not forget to hit the green icon. Uh, let me show you that.
So the group is created. Now we are trying to assign the catalog and that catalog has the tile. Hit the green icon and our job in the Fury Launchpad is done. So it is as simple as that. Now we need to go to the SAP or go to PFTC T code and create the roles. If you already have the roles, you can add in them. Um, but for demo, we are creating a new role. Give the role description. Go to authorizations and give the profile name. In the menu tab, we have to do two things here. First, add the Fury tile catalog. So it will create a, in the menu uh, tab, you will see one child there. And then within the catalog, we have to add the group. Now we have both uh, in them. You see here, there are two ch children now. Now go to the authorization and change it and give the level of authorization you want to give. Here it is shown as full. Check the status. It should be all green since we have given all it's giving us a warning and refresh it and generate it and do not forget to move the role to a transport if you want to move your uh, roles to the different SAP system in your project landscape now we go to SU01 or 02 to either create a new user or add the role to the existing user in this case we are adding the role in an existing user. Uh, we are just removing one role which it already had and then we will add the new role which we just created. Just hit the save button and we are all set. Now we need to go to the Fury Launchpad with this user ID which has the role. You should be able to see the type a tile um, which we have created for the SAP GUI transaction code. Now ask your business or the end users to check it from the mobile or the browser and let them have the fun.